Hi guys, it's Grania here in Solid Solutions Ireland again. We're going to do a flow simulation tutorial today. So some people don't know where to find flow simulation tutorials on SolidWorks. So to get there, you go into Help, SolidWorks Simulation, SolidWorks Simulation Online Tutorial. Once I click that, it opens up a PDF of the first steps, intermediate examples, advanced examples, and many more. We're going to go down here to Pollutant Dispersion in a Street Canyon and we're going to carry out this whole tutorial. All the files for these tutorials are already on your C drive if you've installed Flow Simulation. In this tutorial we're going to demonstrate the capability of Flow Simulation to simulate an urban pollution. It is shown how to obtain a flow field and how to define the tracer source to simulate the pollutant dispersion. Here we consider the street canyon a road and its flanking buildings shown here and here. The street is 15 metres wide and is flanked on the north side with a 100 metre high tower block. On the south side a 30 metre high building. Orientation south is east-west. The source of air pollution comes from a vehicle exhaust. Transfer related air pollution is a complex mixture of gases and particles. We now have to consider nitrogen oxide air pollution. Any other details I've left out you'll find in the PDF we've opened earlier. To begin we're going to open our wizard. So in our wizard we're going to rename our project Street Canyon. We're going to use our current configuration and we're going to go next. Next we have to pick our unit system. We're going to leave it as SI and go next. So in here we're going to click on external and we're going to leave the rest of our ticks empty except for time dependent. We're going to click time dependent and go next. We now have to select your default fluid. So for, in our case it's air. So double click on air and it will come up in your project fluids default fluid. We want to leave our sources laminar and turbulent. And again go next. Our wall conditions are going to be left as default. And again next. In here in our velocity we want to go to our velocity in the z direction. If we click on this, our dependency tab becomes available. If I click on dependency, I'm going to put in a formula. So if I come down to formula definition, I can now type in my formula with my keyboard or with the buttons on the screen. I'm going to use my keyboard. Once I click OK, our velocity in Z direction it ha now has a dependency on it. So it references the dependency I just put on it. I also want to put a dependency on our turbulence. First off, I want to change my turbul turbulence to energy and dissip dissipation. In my energy, I want to put 0.596 and in my turbulent dissipation, I want to put another dependency. I do the same method and go to dependency. I want to drop down and put a formula definition in. Again, in my formula definition, I can type or I can use the buttons on screen. Once I press OK, the dependency then becomes life. I'll go next. Now we're at our results in geometry resolution. So I have from 1 to 8. As I've explained previously, the lower the number, the coarser the mesh, and the higher the number, the finer the mesh. For this, I'm going to leave it as default and finish. I'm now going to adjust the size of my computational domain. I can right click and edit definition. So for this, I want my x to be 65 meters, but I also want it to be symmetrical. Any figures I'm putting in here I've already got from my tutorial, which is available where I showed you earlier. Now 
Now our domain is set, we can specify our goals. To specify goals, we literally just have to right click and go insert goal. For this particular one, I'm going to insert a global goal. For this global goal, I want to know the max static pressure. I'm going to add another global goal for the max velocity. I'm now going to add a surface goal. I'm going to add two surface goals in this project, both to the leeward facing walls of my buildings. For the walls, I want to apply a min static pressure. Now my goals are set up, I'm going to go to my flow simulation, insert a local initial mesh. For this, I'm going to select the roof of my buildings. and the facing walls. I'm also selecting this side face. I'm going to unclick automatic settings and I'm going to come over to the refining cells tab. I want to refine fluid cells and I'm going to put it up to three. I'm also going to go to narrow channels I'm going to change this number to 20. Once all this is done, I can click OK. I'm now going to go to my flow simulation calculation control options. I have two ways of going there. I can right click and go calculation control options, or I can go up here to this symbol and click. In here, I'm going to change my finish conditions to if all goals are satisfied. Once this is done, I can click OK. Now that all my conditions are set and my mesh is now set, I can run my project. Once the project is run, we're going to add in a tracer study. and We're also going to show the flow trajectories. I'm going to let it run. Then my results are all loaded and my flow simulation is complete. What I'm going to do is insert a tracer study. In your tracer study you're given a number of options. I'm going to create or edit a new one. So my name is going to be Tutorial No X. I'm going to edit all these to the numbers that are in your tutorial. Once this is done, I can now save. Our new saved tracer study should be under user defined. Here it is. And I can add tracer. And click OK. We can now see a tracer study option in our analysis tree. I'm now going to specify a tracer source. I'm going to right click on my tracer study, go insert surface source. For this project, I want to click on the road in between my two buildings. I then want it to be mass flow rather than mass fraction or specific mass flow. Again, following with the figures in our tutorial, I'm going to change this number. Make sure the tracer here is the tutorial no X and click yes.
can see our tracer study has symbols now on the road. I'm now going to run our tracer study. It gives you all your data down here. I can go X. I'm going to show the flow trajectories for this study. To show the flow trajectories, you can right click and go insert. I'm going to use the front plane as it goes right down my road. I'm going to use pipes to show it, but I want to show the velocity. You can see the pipes and how they go through your part. Our tutorial is now complete. You can additionally go on and create an ISO surface to show the high traffic pollution in the road. For now we're going to leave it at this. For quick tips and tricks on SolidWorks, please follow us on Twitter and you'll see links and videos for quick tips and tricks.